Josh with ECD, part of the warranty and QC department. I'm Jonathan, I'm the lead electrician here at ECD. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the maintenance schedule on your electric defender. Uh, surprisingly, there isn't one, but we do have a couple things that we recommend you check periodically. Uh, one of those being your coolant levels. So here you have your three coolant reservoirs, uh, one for your motor, one for your batteries, and then the other one's for your heaters. So on the side of each one, you'll notice we have a sight glass. So we recommend that anytime your sight glass is re uh, reaches about halfway, just go ahead and top it off with some distilled water. Um, if that continues to be a problem, go ahead, contact us. You know, more than likely you have a small problem, we'll easily take care of that. Uh, there is another fluid level that we recommend you check periodically, and that's your uh, electric motor oil. And to check that, it's actually underneath your vehicle. And on the, on the front of your motor, there'll actually be a small sight glass that'll read about halfway. The recommended level is quarter to halfway. Anything under that, is a problem, go ahead and give us a call. One of my roles at ECD is to do the first kind of walk around with the client. So uh, we built your truck, now it's in front of your driveway, it just got delivered. So you can always call us and I'll be the one that walks it around. So we're in our uh, new electric, so I'm just kind of gonna run, run through it here. First step um, is you turn the key on on. Um, you'll see your gauges move back and forth. And then what you do is you'll Hold the key for about a second in spring mode, let off, and now it's ready to go. Then you'll put your foot on the brake. You'll see your indicators here for your different park, reverse, neutral, drive. So then you'll pick which one you want to do, hit it, and you're, you're good to go. Um, on the dash here, you'll see your gauges. So um, uh, top left, you have your battery level, so basically your charge level. Um, next one down here, we got our uh, motor temperature. And then if we're over here on the right side, we got our uh, battery temperature and then our volt gauge, our 12 volt gauge. And then we have our uh, speedo in the center with um, your odometer and your trip. And then another option we have in our new electric is um, our, our radio here, but it basically has multi-functions, which is great. So you have your normal media and then you can basically go to your vehicle, basically climate control, so you can turn on your AC. Um, and then your driving mode if you want to go through eco, normal, or sport mode. We also offer cruise control in our new electric. Um, and then you can also do your odometer settings. And then you can actually do regen braking if you want that on or off. And then your idle creep. So idle creep is uh, pretty unique in this new electric. Um, basically feels more like a complete normal uh, gas car. Um, so uh, that is a really cool option that we're pretty excited about. And then you can switch and basically have your uh, power efficiency settings, um, your charge rate. So you can basically pick if you're going to do 110 volt or if you're going to do 220. Uh, most of our clients are always 220. It's quicker, faster. And then you can go to your monitors, um, which basically lets you do uh, the same type of function here. So you got your battery temp, your battery voltage, and your cell voltage. Um, you also have your inverter temp and your motor temp as well. I like to go over with our customers once they get their vehicle the walk around. So I'll do a short walk around here. Um, we do recommend an annual service. Like Jonathan stated earlier, um, these are high voltage systems are maintenance free, um, but there's still items that we want to check on an annual, uh, annual basis. So, Jonathan already talked about the coolant levels, so we want to check that for our, our uh, HV side. Um, we have power steering, so we have power steering fluid that I'd like to check yearly. Of course, we have our washer fluid bottle, and then we also have our brake fluid. Uh, check all those items uh, annually. Walking along, we have our normal systems, so we have a normal braking system. So we want to check rotors, pads, um, you know, wheel torque on an annual basis. Um, tire pressure, you know, same as gas. Uh, vehicle, so we want to check those. Um, we can do a tire rotation annually. Um, we have uh, still uh, uh, U-joints that we want greased, um, tie rods, etc. Uh, so the normal chassis of the vehicle, um, we still do normal yearly maintenance, checking bushings, checking the front diff, uh, rear diff fluids, um, items like that, transfer case fluid as well. Um, and we'll check that on an annual basis. Um, and then basically here's our uh, charger port. So our new electric, which we're really excited about, has our fast charger set up. Um, and then uh, you'll get basically our, um, a charger with it. And you can set that up at, at your house for charging. And then also 
you can do fast charging if, if you choose. So far as charging, a lot of our clients um, will have this at a vacation home or a second home. Um, so what we recommend is having the vehicle at about 80% charge level and then um, unhooking the main charger cable. Um, if it's gonna store for a good amount of period, you know, a uh, month plus. Um, and then having a 12 volt, um, like NOCO um, charger hooked up to, um, to the battery to keep that fully charged. With regards to charge times, um, with our home charger, like a 220 volt, um, on this vehicle, we're about 12 hours. Uh, with a fast charge setup, uh, we're about a little over an hour for full charge. This is just a quick walk around. Um, we're always a phone call away here at ECD. Um, we love dealing with our clients. Uh, any questions, concerns you have over the whole ownership experience, um, you can always call us. Um, we always offer a, um, a longer uh, phone call um, to explain all the different options and maintenance and service. We're always here. We have a full uh, warranty department, so we can always bring your vehicle back and do a full service. Uh, annual service for you um, or a, any repairs that need to be done or upgrades that you need to be done in the future. Appreciate you watching.